Hey, it's Brandon from Kickstart PPC, and today I'm going to be going into defensive campaigns and why you should be running these on your products. I'm not only going to be going into the product display side, but also into branded keywords. So you're going to get a lot of value from today's video and see proper case studies of campaigns that we're running so you can get an idea how they should perform on the branded keyword and the product display side. So let's jump straight into this. So I've got an account up here where they have a lot of data on product display uh, defensive campaigns. And this is kind of what you can expect if you've got a pretty mature listing. You've got uh, pretty good ACOS and ROAS rates across the board on all these campaigns. Here's some to show you. This is the highest uh, down here at 22% ACOS, but across the board, pretty good. And it's not only about this. These are sales that you wouldn't have had if they'd they'd bounced off your listing. So that's that's a lot of units here that potentially you wouldn't have got. So like 58 orders for this, 77 orders for this, 90 orders. And this is a two month period. All of this money here makes a big difference for a business. So saving that money and stopping it bouncing off of your listing is so important. Now, I'm going to go into the branded keyword side and show you some of the data there as well. So this brand has a pretty good off Amazon presence already. So their brand is quite well known and they get a lot of sales via other channels other than Amazon. So going on here and being able to target them directly with the brand, it's worked very well for this client. So here's the, here's the ad spend for a couple of months there and this is the, the sales. So as you can see, the, the metrics here are pretty good. It's the same as the defensive campaigns. You're talking like 13% ACOS, 24. And that's, that's pretty standard of what you can see from uh, defensive campaigns and branded keyword defense campaigns. So if you have a business now and you're selling without these types of campaigns, you should definitely look at doing this. And in the next segment, I'm gonna show you how to create these campaigns so that you can set them up correctly and make sure that you're doing this for your business. So to jump into the next part. So first things first, you want to get into sponsored products, choose your product or products that you're going to run these ads on. Um, typically how it best works is if you have a parent ASIN with quite a few variations, and then you can use that as the basis of your defensive campaign. So say you pick a product or, you know, five, six products, you can then um, select manual product targeting, Enter list, just copy and paste a list of all those variations in here, and then that should uh, do it. And then you click launch campaign. You could also do it where if your products are quite similar, they go well together, you can start targeting those products on your listing as well. So you can have, um, say, I've got all garlic press listings here. Um, you could have something that goes well with the garlic press as what you're running a defensive campaign on. At least if somebody's bouncing off your listing, they're bouncing onto another one of your listings and not making you lose that sale completely. So that's something to look at. In terms of your um, branded keyword side, so it's a different ball game here. What you wanna do is you want to get basically all of your branded keywords. Um, set up a manual campaign here. Um, so say it's uh, it's, it's so-and-so brand. You can go in here, uh, make an exact match and just type in, uh, or, you know, you know, or just put in the actual brand itself, like say, um, so-and-so mic stands, you know, just, Anything that includes the branded keyword, these are going to be what are going to convert very well for you in separate campaigns. A lot of brands mix these in with their normal campaigns, and that's a big mistake because if the other keywords run up the budget, you're not going to get those sales that are coming from branded keywords. And these are perceived as low hanging fruit. They're going to get you some pretty cheap sales, low CPC, so it's worth putting everything into this. You can also do this for sponsored brand video, sponsored display, and I recommend for all of these types of campaigns, you're running them on branded keywords. It's gonna save you a lot of money, get you a lot of traffic that potentially might've bounced off somewhere else and be overall good for your business. 
You don't want people searching for your brand and then seeing the competitor pop up. And that's exactly what they're going to do if you're not covering all your bases here. Now, for the next part, we're actually going to go into real life examples of where you would show up running these types of campaigns. Because it's one thing to understand how to set these up, but you need to be in full understanding of what you're spending your money on, where you're showing up, and have that full understanding. So we're going to dive into that now. But before we do, what I want to say is, if you can remember to subscribe, we're going through a lot of different Amazon PPC related videos. So if you don't want to miss any videos and you want to get loads of content, definitely subscribe because you won't, you won't want to miss what we're going to release. So to jump straight in, I'm going to show you just a random product, say Mike. And uh, just click on a random product. That's got a lightning deal by the looks of it. And you can go down here and you should find sponsored product ads. Perhaps they're not showing up, but typically where you'd find them is right at the bottom here and right on the sidebar. So you'll, you'll be showing your ads on a defensive campaign on both of these sections. Say you're not running this, you will then have a competitor potentially advertising in these spots. So if you click off, you'll then be taken to a different listing. Not like that. <laughs> but it will take you to a new listing. So in that case, you lose the sale. Customers clicked your listing, they're already interested, they've bounced off and you've lost the sale. So that's how you can stop that. And instead of it going to a competitor, it'll either stay on your listing or go to another one of your listings. Preferably a variation would be good. And this is another way to check if somebody's, if they're showing up for branded keywords, so let's take this, um, this brand here. Type in this brand. Okay, cool. So they have a product display ad at the top. So that's showing, which is good. And let's see. Okay, so they have a bunch of their different products but they are not uh, defending the brand everywhere. So this is, uh, this is somebody else. They're running ads to that listing. They should be pumping everything for their brand name. Mano, I think it is. So this is where they're lacking. You've got the headline ad, which is good. They should have video campaigns running to this and all their products should have a branded keywords campaign targeting these keywords especially as they're so big for the brand. They're a music brand. They do microphones, music electronics. They should have all these products targeting this brand because that's going to be the cheapest sale they'll get. So you need to have your defensive campaigns set up and your branded defensive campaigns set up. So if you have any questions, do feel free to, to reach out. This is what we do. We're a Amazon PPC agency. We've got a small team dedicated to PPC. So we're, we're constantly learning, staying up to date with the newest stuff. So all our details are in the description. If you have any questions, definitely feel free to reach out and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.